Hello. In the last couple of exercises, you have learned how to calculate Hamiltonians for these simple lattice models and how you can write an algorithm that generates all the microstates that these types of systems can adopt. In this video and the next few exercises, we will look at how to combine these two pieces to compute ensemble averages and the partition function. The canonical partition function is given by the equation at the top of this slide. The first of these exercises asks you to write a Python function to compute the partition function. This may look unfamiliar, but you will do this by combining things that you already know how to do, as you will be able to tell if I simply explain the symbols in this function a little more clearly. Without further ado then, let's get into it and note that the sum here represents the sum over all the microstates that the system can adopt. We are using bold xi to represent the coordinates of the particles in the ith microstate here. The coordinates for these microstates enter this function h here, which is nothing more than the Hamiltonian. As you know, the Hamiltonian calculates the energy of the state. In this expression, the energy is then multiplied by beta, which is 1 over Boltzmann's constants times the temperature. The instruction we are giving in this expression is thus rather simple. We must generate all the microstates that the system can adopt, calculate the energies of these microstates, multiply the energies we obtain by beta, and then value the, find the value of the exponential function here, and finally sum all of these exponentials to arrive at a final value for z. A code in Python that computes the partition function is shown here. This function takes the number of particles n and the temperature as input. For all the exercises that we will do in this module, we will operate in a system of natural units. We will thus assume that kb equals 1 throughout the module. The function is then relatively simple. This loop here iterates over all the microstates for this system of n particles that can each be in two states. We use the convert to binary function that was discussed in previous videos and exercises to generate the coordinates for each microstate. Then, once we have the coordinates, we call a function that returns the Hamiltonian that has also been introduced elsewhere. These last two lines in the loop then compute the exponential function of the energy and accumulate the sum of exponentials, that is, the partition function. It is pretty straightforward. To complete the exercises, you will have to write code similar to the one here that computes the partition function. You will also need to compute an ensemble average, however. This is not much more complicated and can be done using the formula shown at the bottom of the slide. Notice that the sum here runs over all the microstates again. You can thus compute this sum using a slightly modified version of the partition function code that is shown on the right of the slide. In addition, you will also need to compute the partition function once more. The ratio between the numerator and the partition function obviously has to be complete, taken after the loops for calculating z and the sum in the numerator are completed. Hopefully that is reasonably clear, or at least it will be once you've completed the exercises. Thanks for your attention once again, and good luck.